This is the day that I've been waiting for. This is the day that the architect career path is complete, where we can create an architect from scratch. That's a pretty amazing uh, situation to be in. What we've got now is the entire career path for architects laid out in a way that best represents the stages of architects' careers all over the world. We did interviews, we've done the research, we've worked with practicing architects, we've worked with employers, and what we figured out were the skills and the career path that every architect goes through. Underneath that, we then built the infrastructure to support it. Now, most of you have never thought about the infrastructure necessary to support a career, and quite frankly, you really shouldn't have to. You want to become an accountant. You want to become a doctor. You don't think about all the accreditations and curriculum development and all the stuff that goes on in the background, the internship accreditation, and blah, blah, blah. All you do when you think about becoming a professional is you go follow the career path. You know you're going to go to this school and it's a good school. You're going to get your medical degree and then you're going to get licensed, do an internship. That is what most professions have in place already. What we started with in architecture was the exact opposite. Every organization created the career path for itself. Every organization decided the skills randomly for the architects in their employ. And that left the architect, the individual, out of the equation. Those individuals had to work their way up that organization, go to another organization, and find out that architecture at the next organization was completely different. So this is the day that I've been waiting for because this is the day where we have an industry standard career path that is supported by training, certification, mentoring, board examination, specializations in software, infrastructure, information, and business architecture, as well as a, a career capstone in enterprise architecture. Now, the career path that I'm describing has four primary stages. Those, dis those stages are the foundation architect. Now, the foundation architect is the introductory stage. Now, believe it or not, introductory doesn't just mean junior. Now, if you're just getting started, foundation's where you want to be. But if you're a senior architect, you may want to take foundation to round out your skills, to round out and normalize the language that you use around architecture. We've had enterprise architects with 15, 20 years experience go through core and just love it because it gave them a baseline for their skills and it gave them an idea, not just subjectively, but objectively, about how to work through each of those skills and grow them, because all of us have gaps in our skill set. Foundation Core represents that introductory language, that zero to level one learning, that ability to know what the terms mean, to communicate the value of architecture, and to practice with a holistic understanding of what you've got to do. Now, our, what I've got the pleasure to do today is to launch Stage 2. Stage 2 is the Associate Curriculum and Certification. Now, those are two separate things. In Stage 2 of your career, you know what the words mean. You've got a little knowledge and a little, a little capability in each of those areas. You've moved from okay up to really good. Now we're going to go from good to great. In stage two, you need depth learning. You need to look at core skills such as business technology strategy, which defines the value of technology to your organization and to your customer base. You need design skills, IT environment skills. You need quality attribute skills, and you need human dynamic skills. Each of these skills has depth and, and knowledge that you will need to be a successful architect. And to combined together, we call that the foundation body of knowledge at the associate level. And what the associate training does is it prepares you in depth in each of those areas. In addition, we have associate training in each of our recognized specializations. Those specializations are software, infrastructure, information, and business. That means we have a full four-day course in all of these areas. Now, for your associate certification, 
which is the recognition of achievement both in knowledge and in practice at the associate level, we will put you through a very structured program of testing and demonstration of your skills. Now in this certification, which is the follow-on to the associate training, you will be tested using a multiple choice exam of a hundred questions on business technology strategy and your specialization. So for those of you who want to be software architects, you would be tested on business technology strategy and software architecture. For those of you who want to be business architects, you'd be tested on business technology strategy and business architecture. So each certification is slightly different. Now in addition to that at the associate level, you're going to get an assignment after you pass the exam. After you pass the exam, you'll be given a, an assignment that gives you 30 days to complete an architecture project. In that project, you will have to demonstrate all of the knowledge and the capability to develop architects, architectures for your employer. As a part of that project, you will have to present to two certified architects. Those architects will listen to your presentation and they will analyze your architecture back and forth with you online or in person. The analysis of that architecture is based on your ability to demonstrate value at the associate level of skill. Once you've completed your demonstration, your project assignment, you will receive your results which will include feedback. That feedback will include the pros and cons of your approach and will also tell you how you can improve in the future even if you passed. So you're going to get detailed feedback after the associate. Now for those of you who want to continue on past associate, you'll be able to enter the mentoring program. The mentoring program is a long lasting program that gives you the opportunity of working with senior certified professional architects, what we call CIDAPs, over the course of a number of years of your career to gain the experience necessary to back up that associate learning. So as you can see, we've worked through all of the components of your work career path and we're very excited to have you here in Singapore and I'm tremendously excited. I mean, this is the part of my job I love is making sure that you have the tools you need to grow your career. When I started as an architect 17 years ago, I didn't have any training. There was no mentoring. There was no community. There was no online knowledge base. We each had to learn it by trial and error, and that cost me personally and my employer from, basic, from, from creating a lot of mistakes. We're hoping to save that experience and make sure that you have a stable and easy to follow, if not easy to complete, career path ahead of you. So I appreciate you uh, being here today, and I appreciate all the hard work of the Asia chapters, the Singapore chapter and its leadership. We appreciate ATD and our sponsors for today in, being, in helping us launch this in Singapore. And I hope that each of you will feel free to contact me with questions or anyone in ISO with questions or opportunities or ideas for how we can increase the quality of your job and your career. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.